So Spain is known for making a ton of great egg dishes from the classic tortilla de patatas to the iconic huevos rotos. And let me tell you, the egg dish we're making today sits right up there with the best of them. We're talking Basque style baked eggs. This dish hails from the region of País Vasco, which is located in northern Spain. It's basically made by sauteing some vegetables in extra virgin olive oil, then adding in some eggs into the veggies, and finally into the oven until the eggs are perfectly cooked, folks. This recipe is so easy to make. It's got a ton of great flavors and it's all done in just 30 minutes. We're gonna begin by getting our ingredients ready. I've got a trio of bell peppers here, yellow, green, and red, and I'm gonna roughly dice each one. As you know, I always like to cut around the bell peppers, that way there's no seeds involved. Now to make this recipe, you can just use one color of bell pepper if you like, but by using all three of these, it really gives this dish a beautiful pop of flavors. For the next ingredient to prepare, I'm going to grab six fresh tomatoes, cut each one in half, and then finely grate them. We want to end up with one and three quarter cups of finely grated tomato, which is 15 ounces or 400 grams. And like I always tell you, you can totally skip this step and just use canned tomato sauce the same amount, 15 ounces or 400 grams. And we're also going to roughly dice half of an onion, and thinly slice three cloves of garlic. All right, let's start cooking up our dish. I'm gonna grab a fry pan. This one is oven proof. If you don't have an oven proof pan, just use a regular one and I'll give you a substitute of what to use later on. I'm gonna heat this with a medium high heat and add in two tablespoons, which is 30 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the olive oil for one minute on a medium high heat, I'm gonna add in the diced onion and the sliced garlic. and start mixing these ingredients around with that olive oil. Very important to mix this continuously. We are in a medium high heat. That way the vegetables don't burn and they all evenly saute. After about two minutes and the onion is nice and translucent and that garlic developing a light golden fried color, I'm gonna add in the roughly diced bell peppers and continue to mix these ingredients around with that olive oil. Once again, very important to mix this continuously. We are on a medium high heat. That way the vegetables don't burn and they all evenly saute. About five minutes after adding the bell peppers into the pan and they're lightly sauteed and developing a light golden fried color, you don't wanna brown them. I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. This equals 2.30 grams and we'll give this a quick mix. That way that paprika is evenly mixed into the vegetables. And like I always tell you, when you add in paprika into a hot pan, you wanna mix it in there quickly, otherwise it easily gets a bitter flavor. Then we'll add in our one and three quarter cups of finely grated tomato. Once again, this is about 400 grams. And we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this one final mix. That way all these ingredients are evenly mixed together. And we're gonna simmer this between four to five minutes or until that grated tomato has really thickened up. After about five minutes, you can see that that grated tomato has really thickened up. Our vegetables are ready to go. I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna add four eggs into the pan. Now, before I add the eggs into the pan, I like to crack each one into individual bowls. Then when you add them into the pan, it ensures that no shells go in there and that the egg yolks are not broken. And as I'm adding my eggs into the pan, I like to make a little pocket with the spoon. That way the egg perfectly sits in there. And you wanna make sure all four of your eggs are evenly spaced out. and we'll crack some fresh pepper on top of the eggs. 
For the final step, let's bake our eggs. I'm gonna add our pan into a preheated oven. It's been preheating for about 20 minutes, bake only option. That's just the bottom heat, 190 degrees Celsius, which is 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if you don't have an oven proof pan, here's a substitute I told you about earlier. Once you cook your vegetables, transfer them into a casserole dish, then add the eggs in there and add that into the oven. After about eight minutes, these eggs should be perfectly baked with those egg whites nice and firm and the egg yolk still creamy. I'm gonna remove this from the oven. Now every oven heats differently, so it can take seven minutes in your oven or up to nine minutes. So start checking on them at the seven minute point. We'll sprinkle the dish with some freshly chopped parsley and we'll top it off with a Spanish guindilla, which is very similar to an Italian pepperoncini. Our Basque style baked eggs are done, an incredible dish from El País Vasco, so easy to put together. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Seriously, this came out looking so good. Here we go. It is so delicious. And the combination of all those vegetables, which are perfectly cooked, combined with that sweet smoked Spanish pepper, gets bam, an explosion of goodness. The eggs are perfectly baked with the whites nice and firm. The yolk is beautiful and creamy. You saw this, an incredible dish from El País Vasco, the Basque country. Very easy to make. Comes together in about 30 minutes. Serve it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, any meal you want, but always next to a crunchy baguette to mop up all that beautiful goodness. Really quick, before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Michael and Kelly Thompson and Dr. Michael Barbitz. Once again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one. It helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.